Hey, this is Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to share with you the actual pricing for $25,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 69 year old male. Now, first thing I recommend you do is go directly to our website at funeralfunds.com and take advantage of this free quarter. We have this on just about every page of our website. You can select the state that you live in. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way. Select the coverage amount, put your birthday in here, do the rest of the info, click get quotes now. And it will take you to a page that's going to show you all the best insurance companies with all the best rates based off your age, gender, and the state that you live in. Take full advantage of that. It's a great way to shop all the different insurance companies for pricing. You can also call us directly at 888-862-9456 and one of our agents can help you live over the telephone, help you understand what you qualify for, what your pricing would be. Now, the first thing we typically recommend to 60, 69 year old male looking for right around $25,000 worth of insurance do is just consider if that's going to be enough to take care of their final expense needs when they do pass away. Now, typically that's gonna be either a cremation or a burial. And the cremation's got two options. You've got the first option where if you come home in a cardboard box or an urn and nothing fancy, that's going to be between one to two thousand dollars just for the cremation only. And if you are going to have the cremation in some sort of ceremony, like a celebration of life or remembrance ceremony, something like that, that's generally going to run thirty five hundred to forty five hundred dollars, just depending what part of the country you live in. Now, as far as coverage amounts for those, for that first one where you have just a cremation where you come home in a cardboard box or an urn, we would typically help people with around $5,000 to $7,000 worth of coverage. Now, you might be going, well, Randy, hold on. You said, you said, you know, it's $2,000 for the cremation, but you should get $5,000 for the policy. Yeah, um, you know, we're, we're talking about a 69-year-old male who probably wants to live to 79, maybe even 89, right? So we know that prices are going to go up in the future. So what we do, we just get a little bit more insurance than is necessary right now to inflation-proof the plan. That way we lock in the youngest and lowest rate as of right now. And that way family members aren't going to have to worry about having to pay for this at some point in the future. So we inflation proof the plan for the long term, but there's also a little more coverage left on the front end, you know, a little bit more than would it would actually take. And that just protects it in case there are any kind of other bills, maybe medical bills or credit card bills or something that if you would have lived long enough, you would have had those paid off, but you died a little bit too soon. So it works really terrific. We can protect in both the long term and, and the short term, just in case there's any other bills. Now, if you're going to do that cremation with the ceremony, we would typically help people with around 7000 to 10000 And again, the plan's inflation-proofed on the back end, but on the front end of it, if you did die sooner than anybody expected, there's some extra money to pay some bills. So kind of win-win. And for a burial, the average cost for a burial in the United States right now is right around $10,000. If you walk into pretty much any funeral home in the United States with a $10,000 check, they should help you out. Uh, just understand it's going to be very, very minimalistic, very, very uh, simple, shall we say. But it's hard to imagine they would say no and have you walk out the door and, you know, walk two blocks down the street and go to one of their competitors. But just understand that if you get $10,000 right now, that's the actual cost of it right now. It's not going to be inflation proofed. And uh, you, you'll probably, you know, just to make sure that your loved ones don't have to pay for this in the future, want to get more. But, you know, if you're on a fixed or limited income and as all, all you can do is uh, afford $10,000, go ahead and do that right now. We can always help you apply for, for more coverage later. But that will cover your most immediate needs. But uh, other than that, for, for barriers, we would typically help people with between kind of 10,000, 15,000, up to 20,000. Uh, very rarely do we go up to really $25,000. Uh, some people do do say that, you know, I want to take care of my funeral and I want to leave some extra money for the kids, right? So they might say, hey, 30, 40, 50,000, but say, let's talk 50,000. We quote them a rate. And much of the time they go, oh, well, that's more than I thought. Well, it's more than they thought because they waited until age 79 to try to get $50,000 worth of whole life insurance. And uh, sometimes they'll say, just say, well, if I can't do anything, I'm not going to do anything at all. We have to kind of have a, a little consultation with them, just chat with them and say, hey, when you came in here, you really wanted to take care of the final expense first and getting, you know, some money to the kids would be kind of a nice thing. But we know you're going to die. That's the necessity. And the kids may or may not need that money at that time. So what we always recommend 
just go ahead and get the final expense policy, get that taken care of. Because if you don't have that, the kids are going to have to pay it out of their own pocket. Chances are they're going to have to put it on credit cards. And uh, that's uh, going to be about 26% interest. They'll be paying on that for years and years and years. So we don't recommend that. Um, and then what we can do later is just follow up and get a separate policy for the kids if that's what you want to do. Now, if money's not an object, then we can do that all at once, of course. But most of the people we help are on a fixed or limited income, social security, disability, something like that. So splitting those up works really terrific. Now, one thing we always recommend is getting first day coverage or benefits. We do not recommend plans with two year waiting periods at all. So uh, we'll go over that in just a moment. But yeah, what first day coverage means is that hypothetically, if your plan were issued and approved today and you died tomorrow, the insurance company would have to write that check for 25,000 or 20 or 15, whatever it is, thousand. So um, that's gonna be the best coverage. It's also gonna have the lowest pricing. Now, some people do say, hey, Randy, I, I agree with you. I like that first day coverage, but um, you know, I'm not in the best of health and I'm worried I may not qualify because I know they ask health questions. And we say, yeah, they do ask health questions, but that's our responsibility. That's not your responsibility. And what we mean by that is that um, we work with a whole bunch of different insurance companies. They all have different health questions. They all have different underwriting. And right now we're getting about 90, 95% of the people who help approve for first aid coverage or benefits. The only reason you really wouldn't qualify for first aid coverage is if you just waited too long and you'd uh, really had some major health problems, like maybe you had a terminal illness and you're going to pass away in the next 12 months, or you have dementia or you're on dialysis or in a hospital or a nursing home, something like that. If that were the case, we'd typically refer you out to a different insurance company. Uh, one thing that seems to, ha seems to happen every week too is we'll get a call from somebody and they'll say, hey, we had a family member pass away this last week. They didn't have insurance. We don't have any money. Their body's down at the funeral home now. The funeral home director's not going to do anything until he gets a check in his hand. So we need to get this insurance really quick so we can get some money from the insurance company to pay the funeral home guy. We have to let them know there's no insurance company in the United States that's going to offer a policy on somebody who's already dead, somebody who already died. You have to be alive to qualify for this insurance. And it's really sad that they had a family member pass away without insurance, but it's really sad that you know, the family member didn't take care of this. They knew they were going to die someday. They probably thought about getting this insurance and never did anything about it. And now their family's going to suffer and have to pay for it. And chances are they're going to put it on a credit card paying 26% interest. And they're going to be paying on this years and years and years. So don't be that person. Protect your legacy. Don't leave that legacy behind. That's the last thing people are going to remember, that you just socked them with these this real expensive bill and they weren't prepared for it. And now they'll be paying on it for years on their credit card. So don't be that person. This insurance is affordable. If you need to start small, we can always help you add more coverage later. Now, one thing we don't recommend is those plans with two-year waiting periods. And Colonial Pen's a pretty popular company, I think, probably just because they advertise those 995 plans like every seven minutes on TV. At least it seems that way. But yeah, their, two, their 995 plan, if you didn't know this, that's a two-year waiting period plan. You want to avoid that thing. Man, there's no way you want to get a two-year waiting period if you can get first aid coverage. That's what we help people with, first aid coverage. But Colonial Pen, they're not the only one out there with the two-year waiting periods. There's other companies out there too, like Mutual of Omaha, their United of Omaha line, AIG Gerber. Gosh, just a whole bunch of different insurance companies. And uh, some of these companies have done a pretty amazing job of convincing the American public that um, you know, if you're over age 50, the only thing you're gonna qualify for is a plan with a two-year waiting period. To which we always say, <laughs> don't fall for such nonsense. We help people with first day coverage all day long. Yeah, don't fall for that garbage. Now, our male, age 69, uh, probably just got done watching one of those Colonial Pen TV commercials, 995. He's probably thinking, man, I waited to age 69 and I'm going to get my Colonial Pen 995 insurance and it's going to be... I'm probably going to get 20000 30000 40000 maybe even $50,000. And then he uh, talks to a Colonial Pen agent or goes on their website and looks at the coverage, kind of like we've done for you on their website here. Sees so it a male, age 69, one unit of coverage, nine ninety five, dollars right there, nine ninety five. dollars That's only going to pay out $724 for a 69-year-old male. Now, $724, that's not even enough to pay for a cremation in any part of the country that we know of. And even if it was, <laughs> these plans have a two year waiting period and they're not gonna pay out if you die of any health or medical reason in the first two years. Why would you ever get a policy 
that's so minimal coverage just because it's nine ninety five. It's not going to do you any good. It's not going to pay for a cremation, either of the cremation options. It's not going to pay for a burial. Yikes. So there's some people out there that would say that, you know, insurance companies that offer these these teaser rates, like, you know, really super low rates, that they actually don't even want to sell you that plan, right? In fact, they, they will happily tell you how little coverage it is because they, they don't want to sell you the teaser rate plan. They just want to use that to get your information and get you in their marketing funnel. And then they'll call you up and they'll tell you how little, how minimal coverage is, how meager the coverage is. And then they will try to upsell you to buy more coverage that's much more profitable for the insurance company. Now, we would never say Colonial Pym would ever do anything like that. But there's some people that have that opinion out there, I'm sure. And I guess you'll have to have to just kind of formulate your opinion based on that. Just knowing that $9.95 is only going to get you $724. It's just not going to pay for anything appreciable uh, final expense-wise. Now, let's we want to this video is about $25,000. Here's here's the challenge though. Colonial Pen uh they only go up to 15 units. That's the max out. They don't sell by coverage amount, they sell by units. And let's see what that is going to be. You can only get $10,860 if you're a 69-year-old male. That's going to be roughly $150. So, let's go check. Let's go hunt down $25,000 in first day coverage and see what the rates are. Uh, $25,000 male, age 69, right there. Get quote. We're going to go back and take a look. Roughly $10,000 for $150. And uh, let's take a look here. So now I want to show you again. This is $25,000 right there. $25,000 male, age 69. And that is going to be $160. So think about this. Would you rather have $25,000 worth of coverage and pay $160 a month and it's level first day coverage. That's what that means. Level means first day. Would you rather have $25,000 for $160? Or would you rather have $10,860 for, you know, $150? So, yeah, I mean, $25,000 worth of coverage over here is $10 more than $15,000. No, $10 more. Let me say that again. $25,000 worth of coverage here is $10 more than $10,000 coverage here. So you're getting $15,000 more coverage for $10 a month. Why would you why would you ever do a plan like this that provides so little protection that's cost so much and it's got a 2-year waiting period when you could um you could get so much more insurance uh, by going with first day coverage. We don't know. It's a mystery. Uh must be those fancy TV commercials. Um just be a smart consumer. If you're not a smart consumer, let us help you be a smart consumer. We can help you save a lot of money and get that all-important first-day coverage. Let's uh, look at some other companies here because we know this is 160. Uh, yeah, here's a company here, uh, 177. It is first-day coverage, but 177, so $17 more a month. $17 a month times uh, 12 months. That's going to be an extra $204 a year. And if our 69-year-old male lives to age 79, you would end up overpaying right around $2,040 more just to go with the, this company that's got a little higher rate. So you got to ask yourself, if you were walking down the street, uh, public street, sidewalk, and uh, you, you just pulled your wallet out and you had $2,040 in there, would you just throw that on the sidewalk and walk away and let people pick that up and keep that money? Well, no, you wouldn't, Right. Why would you do that here with this insurance company? You know, why would you why would you purposely overpay knowing that you're never going to get that money back? Yeah, what you really need to do is allow us to help you shop around, help you get the lower pricing. Let's see if there's another company here though. So maybe one more here. Oh yeah, Lincoln Heritage. So uh, they're a fine company, I guess, but holy cow, look at that pricing. That's two hundred and six dollars. It is level coverage, but two hundred and six dollars. So that's going to be about $40, $46 more a month than, uh, than that other option. Why is that so much, though? Well, Lincoln Heritage has a deal where when you pass away, they will supposedly call two or three funeral homes to get you the best pricing, maybe do a couple of other things. But, but they charge for that. It is not free. They charge for it. And if you look at that, that's $206 a month versus 
versus 160. You'd be overpaying by $46 a month. So let's multiply that times 12 months. That's right around $552 a year. You'd be paying more. And then if our 69-year-old male lived age 79 for the next 10 years, you would end up overpaying right around $5,520 more. Um, so you got to ask yourself, is that worth paying an insurance company an extra $5,520 just to call two or three funeral homes and do a couple other things uh, that might only take an hour or so to do? Man, there's a lot of people that would say that that's a, that's a really expensive way of doing things. And we, we really believe that you know, that $5,520 roughly, that's better off in your bank account uh, versus that going to an insurance company's bank account. And yeah, you, you, you know, spend it on yourself, spend that on your family, do everything you can, but do not give all that kind of money, that kind of extra money to an insurance company. In fact, what we recommend you do is we'll help you get approved for the lowest price plan. And then we've got a free funeral and estate planning guide. We have that free on our website. It's just a download. Once you download that, you print it out. Once you print it out, you fill it out and you just write down who gets what, what goes where and what you want done after you're gone. And when you're done with that, you keep that with your insurance policy. And then when you pass away, your family members will go to that one place and they will have everything they need. They, they will see that they're protected financially with the, ins with the insurance policy, but they'll also see that they're protected emotionally with the funeral and estate planning guide because all they'll need to do is open the funeral estate planning guide, start reading it, and they'll know that you protected them. You loved and protected them not only in life, but you loved and protected them in death too, exactly when they would need you the most when you weren't there, but you took care of things in advance. What a wonderful legacy to leave behind. What a wonderful gift of love. You know, if you want to leave a legacy like that behind, go to funeralfunds.com. We've actually got a free, uh, free and special quarter for our YouTube visitors, funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. And on that, you can get the best rates, the best discounts. And uh, we, we recommend you take full advantage of that. Make sure you get the best pricing out there and compare all the different insurance companies. You can also call us at 888-862-9456. One of our agents can help you with anything you require. But if you've got an existing policy and you want us to price shop it to make sure you got the lowest pricing or you want to add coverage to it, we can help you out with that. If you won't need a brand new policy or you just have some questions about what you might qualify for or what your pricing would be, we can help you out with that. But we look forward to getting you the most amount of insurance for the least amount of money. We will be blessed to help you with that at some point in the future. Until that day comes, you stay safe, you take care, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.